congratulations on your record. Thank you so much. It's uh, it's out on iTunes. Check it out. Tell us about it. What kind of stuff is it? There's nine original, complete rock and roll songs. It's totally awesome. It has that Aerosmith feel, you know, to it. It has that garage, you know. It's just, it's down and dirty. It's awesome. What, what's the writing process like for you? Like The writing process usually starts with, like, an awesome intro. And then I'm like, okay, what chords go with that intro? And then I sort of decide the theme of the song and where I want to go with it, and then uh, lyrics just come to it. And what are some of the themes of the, of the songs? Are they, are they breakup tunes? Are they just... Uh... Some of them are. It's like a process from... Well, one of them is actually about just this. It's like, what if this is all a dream? What if it's like I have to wake up and just got to... And it's titled Step Back to Reality. If I have to, like, step back into, you know... What if it is all a dream, Sterling? Then what? That would suck. That would just be a bummer. <laughs> what if you're always lost? What if I'm always lost, like, in my dream? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, because that's, that's pretty whack. <laughs> so, let's see. You know, given the opportunity to go tour around the world with your record or continue to do Lost, what would you do? Oh, I totally tour. I want to I wanna travel the world before I'm dead, and this might be the only chance I get. Come on, man. You're just you're you're still young. No, but seriously, I mean, how many people do you actually meet that say they want to travel the world and actually have? And if you get that opportunity, you wouldn't snag it. I would. What, did you record the record out here in LA? Yeah, I recorded in LA. We actually we actually did one of the songs on the record. We took a boom mic down down here in Hollywood and we recorded one of the songs a cappella with just with me and a guitar on the street. By the time we were done, we had like a hundred people just around. It was awesome. Yeah, it was awesome. So who are some of your influences? You, you you cited Aerosmith, but what else kind of comes through on the on the album? Uh, Aerosmith for some of the songs. Jason Mraz, uh, Sublime. I don't know. I just started like a month ago. You listen to ninety eight point seven. Yes, I do. Hey, what's up? My name's Sterling Bowman. Check out Step Back to Reality, and you're listening to ninety eight point seven. <laughs>